Peace and blessings. This is Lisa Marie Goodson of the Black Fairy Beauty. Let me just fix this. Transformative Academy, Ancient African Wisdom for the Modern Sister. Peace and blessings. So yes, y'all, I'm going to give you a chance to come on. I'm probably a little late, but you know, this is about the time I've been coming on now because y'all girl is doing a lot. Like I have a group, a private coaching group. It's $67 a month membership group. And it's called Wild Women Who Run With The Womb. And every week, every Monday and every Wednesday and actually every other uh, Monday, we do conference calls, we do live videos, and we always have a theme. And our theme is Monica Jo is watching. How are you? Our theme is um, always something different. And this month, the theme is either we can say learning something new or doing something new. And if you, what is the difference between that course and me doing my live streams or, or intensive is it really is an intensive, but it's like a year course. It's like signing up for college and learning how to be a goddess woman, a prosperous woman, a sacred woman, a whole woman, a holy woman, a divine woman, a cleansed woman, a, 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 a healed woman. But we use, we use different things to focus on. What is the advantages of the private coaching group, Wild Women Who Run With The Womb? Thank you for the, the thumbs up. I'm loving it. And we're going to get into the, uh, the today's the, tonight's discussion. But I just wanted to tell you a, lot, a little bit about the group because the group, what we're learning in the group this month, in this series, is it has inspired this, co this conversation that we are having tonight. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, yes, Monica Jo. Hey, sweetie. Hey. So, um... So, yes, so what I was going to say is, so yes, in the group Wild Women Around the Womb, if you want to join, it's $67 a month. I would love for you to be there. It is a concentration. If you are experiencing any fibroid tumors, if you have infertility, if you, you want to start your own business, if you have negative people around you looking for like-minded people, if you want to change and become this fully blossom black woman, then that is the intensive for you. Hey, Pamela, thanks for being amazing. I love you. Thank you. And my crystal good girl, Brown. You know, girl, I feel like we like kin now. We done met. We done met up in Atlanta. So I feel like we are kin, okay? You are my sister. Like, I love you. And when, we, when I get back in Atlanta, we gonna hang out, okay? And anybody else, we gotta definitely do meet up. So once I meet you, you are my kin. You are my blood. You are my sister. And all of you are already my sister, but if I hug you and touch you, it's done, okay? And so and in a lot of ways, that's what the group Wild Woman Who Runs With The Womb is. It's such a great and tight sisterhood. And so this week, this series, this month, <laughs> uh, the November month, is we're talking about doing something or learning something new. So I was telling them about all these wonderful things that are going on. So I, I, I say these things to you because I want you to know where I come from and I want you to know where I'm going. And so all of these talks are based on something either from that group or things that are already happening to me. Hey, so I got Pamela, I got G. Lisa Lewis. Hey, what if some of the topics don't pertain to us? Okay, you know what? That's such a good question. If you are alive, if you have breath, if you have a heart, Every single topic pertains to you. That, that's such a great, nobody ever asked me that question, even if you don't think it does. I know that no matter what, that every time I go on this live stream, there is something that I said, you may not even get that it pertained to you, but it does. It's, we're talking about spirituality. We're talking about magic. We're talking about that you are all, that you want more, that you want more, that there's so many broken pieces with the African, so many post-traumatic slave syndrome things that we're not even aware of that we're operating out of, post-traumatic slave syndrome, the pain, the suffering, the, 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 in the bloodline, the negative foods, the attitudes, the self-hatred, the jealousy, the crab in the barrel mentality that lots of our people have, the not having like-minded people around us, the struggling with diet, Every last one, learning something new or doing something new is why you, most of us don't do anything new. That's why we don't have a new life. That's why we're not obtaining our goals. That's why we're not getting what we want. So that's such a great question. Hey, Candace Alexander, so nice to have you on, sweetie. So, G. Lisa, that's like a great question. They all pertain to you. 
It's just you understanding. And once you get into it, you start thinking. You'll look at the 12-month subjects, and I agree with you. You'll go, well, that one is interesting, January, and, and maybe March is interesting, and maybe, you know, December is interesting. But the rest of them, I don't think that pertains to me. Those are the very ones that's going to actually help you the most. Those are the very ones that pertain to you. If you live and if you breathe and if you're a black woman, everyone will pertain to you because we're chipping away. We're saying that this, there's no overnight like healing. There's no overnight you know, success in a sense that we have so many blockages as African women in the diaspora and that going through these different subjects or series will help us to peel away those layers that are really deep within us. I got, I know, okay then, awesome. She's like, I got you, girl. I got you. Okay, Armana, thank you for watching. Latoya Wilson, thank you for watching. I'm so glad you all are here. So, yeah, I thank you for, I think I love the question, girl. Questions is my, I love questions. They help me. So, we were talking today about this idea of doing something new. And I break doing something new down. Like I really, this three-step program that I developed, goal, affirmation, and action that we did in the intensive that was November 6th called Creating Healthy Money Rituals. I could say Creating Healthy Rituals. I'm living this thing. Like I, the I, so let me just go back. Hey, Tanya, how are you? So let me just go back. And it's, it's, I want to show you the things. I use this technique. And if you want to still buy it, the replay is on the website. I am going to start my Black Power Friday sale. It's going to start this Friday. And it's going to end next Friday, actual, the day after Thanksgiving, which is, I guess, the Black Friday. Mine is Black Power Friday. One week where every single thing, except for the group Wild Woman Who Run the Womb, Every single thing will be reduced. Everything on my website. Only for a week. And after that, it goes back. So if you want to know about the three-step program, if you want to know and you're curious about this idea of the intensive called creating healthy rituals or money rituals, and you know $77, maybe you didn't have it. I don't know how much it's going to be yet, but it's not going to be $77. For one week, you're able to get this. And when you get it, you're going to say, oh, my God, Lisa Marie actually used it. So my goals, I had the goal was my affirmation or my goal was to have a fit and healthy body. My uh, affirmation was I'm so thankful and happy now that I have a beautiful, healthy, well-toned, muscular, and sexy body. I used the three-step program that I created, and I got my body is where, it's getting where I wanted to be. The other one was I wanted to win the Black Power Awards. I used the three-step program to, to win the Black Power Awards, and I did. The other thing was to get, I forgot how many women, so many women in my last intensive, creating healthy money rituals, and I got more than I expected. And so, and, and so, more, and so it's, it works, y'all. But I was teaching the women how to go deeper and even ask for more and how to get that. That takes a different kind of skill set to actually get what you want. And it's perfect for doing something new, meaning creating something new, asking for something new. But there comes work with that, lots of work. Some would say hard work. If you're not willing to do the work, you're not going to get the results, okay? So I just found out that I'll be speaking in 2018. So check it out. I know you didn't, girl, we didn't get to 2017. No, you got to, you got to prepare for the future. You got to prepare and you got to do the preparing. The preparation starts now. In 2018, I will be the keynote speaker. I will be speaking at a major Ivy League university called Brown University in Rhode Island. I just found out today that I will be the speaker. Not the speaker of one department, the speaker. <laughs> the speaker, health and wellness, the speaker. On now, message to the black men. Okay, yeah. Uh, Vicki Washington is watching Barbara Jackson. Hello, Barbara Jackson. Yes. Speaking to, uh, 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 talking about uh, experience of being a raw foodist, uh, eating from the land, from the perspective of a black woman. For, for we, they, don't, they don't leave spaces for us. They don't think that we care about these, the earth, although we should, since we're the first of the earth, everything you touch becomes sacred. My favorite Lisa Marie quote, thank you, it's true, it's true. And so I'm riding the wave right now. And so I was thinking about 
how do we, let's talk about numbers just for a brief second. So we're in the year 2016. If you add 6, 2, and 1, that adds up to 9. In numerology, 9, it represents completion. So we're in there. We're completing an entire cycle. I feel like 9, 2 is about gathering your tools, learning, learning all you can, and just going deep into your studies. Now we're going into 2017. 7 and 2 is uh, 9, and 1 is 10. But there's no 10 in numerology. There's just 1, so we take off the 0. 1 is not just starting over. 1 is new beginnings. It's a beginning. It's a new beginning. So starting something new actually would begin in the nine, the, the ending, and so that you can be prepared for the one, which is 2017, which is the new. Stay with me, ladies, because you know we're going to go there. James Martin is watching. How you doing, my brother? Peace and blessings to you. So let's go here for a minute. What I understand now, and I, if you take my courses, you would understand it too, because I hope you will be in the next December 3 hour live intensive. And if you can't make the, the live one, you can do the replay. It's called the, art, the Spiritual Art of Selling, Sell or Be Sold. My goal is to teach you how to sell ethically with morals and confidence and understanding that it is your duty to bring out your product or service to the market in order to help and th our communities to thrive, right? And so Spirit kept saying to me, well, Nubia, hey, peace, queen, thank you, James. So Spirit kept saying to me, come on, Sister Lisa Marie, Nubia. You, I will go back to Nubia, Lisa Marie. Y'all know, roll with me on this. It's, it's fun. I like it. I like having many names because I feel like many people right now. So, um... Black Power Wars, I'll be speaking at this Ivy League school. I'm sure the other ones are coming as well. I got things I got to do. There's changes that I got to make. And so I thought about what is my theme? Because one, let's go back to one. So the, the 2017 in numerology represents one. One means looking out for number one. The next year, 2018, when I'll be doing all the speaking, is about partnerships, you know, collaborations, you know, working with others. But 2017, which starts my January intensive, Blackberry Beauty Secrets, How to Glow from Head to Toe, that literally is taking six weeks to teach you how to be with yourself, know yourself, change yourself, love yourself, improve yourself, make yourself the best self that you can make so you could be ready for 2018, which is about collaboration, partnerships, working with others, right? So I said, well, there needs to be, why don't we create themes, create a theme for 2017? And my theme for 2017, I just decided when I was doing my course just a few minutes ago with my group, Wild Woman Who Run With The Womb, my theme for 2017 is polishing up my act. I'm going to say it again. My theme for 2017 is polishing up my act. Because it's about one, it's about making myself better so that I could be better for other people, my husband, my child, my relationship, my work, for you all. It is the perfect time. It's not just January is the new year where people do new things. Literally, it is one meaning it's about you. Let's read. Facts. Thank you, James. Monica Joe says, that's great. I'm planning to in a 21 year career at the end of this year and starting something new in 2017. Perfect. I'm kind of uncertain, but what you just shared is like confirmation. Absolutely, Monica Joe. Absolutely. It is. So, what does that mean when we talk about numerology or we talk about the, the, it's a vibrational frequency? It says that the reason why you want to start something new or do something new, but do dealing with you, it's not about you and the husband, you and the kids. You and the, it's you. It's polishing. It's polishing. My my theme is polishing up my act because that's what I I want to do. It says the energy supports that. The energy. If you don't do that, you're going against the energy, and you're going to have a hard time getting exactly what you want if it doesn't fit into the energy of self improvement, self empowerment, self love, self confidence. Self courage. That's what one is. So Olasana, hey, Erica Harris, hey, Rosalind, hey. I'm so glad you all are here. So it's very important 
that you get this because we about to do this. Self-preservation, self Brother James. Thank you. Thank you. He said it. Hey, Queen Erica. Self-preservation. One is to preserve. Oh, I love that. James, thank you. That's so why we need some male energy up in here. And I appreciate that so much. Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. I'm glad you're here. Team Paige, I'm glad you're here. Self-preservation. So why did I think about positive acts? I was telling the ladies that when you set a goal, sometimes you can choose the action of, of the, that goes with the goal. Sometimes the actions choose you. So in order to speak at Brown University or any of these schools that I'm going to speak at eventually, oh, it's going to be bigger than that, of course, I, there are certain things I have to do. I'm going to be doing a food demo. I'm going to create a beautiful recipe book with high-quality photographs, polishing up my act. That's going to be edited by professionals, polishing up my act. I'm going to have to get a full take a full certification course that might require six months of my time. Never saw that coming. Would not have picked that action, but it's going to, it's polishing up my act. It's not selling out. It's not giving in. It's not getting up. It's making myself better where I couldn't see, but I know that I could be better. See, the reason why we don't get those big goals is because a lot of times there's some new things that's required for the new goal or new things that's required for the big goal. So I feel like since 2018, I know what's coming. This is why it's so wonderful to be spiritual or African or African spirituality means I know the calendar, the numbers is written on the wall. I know what each number represents. Why don't I prepare myself before the time comes? That's what we're talking about. So Jacqueline said, will we get the book, Lisa? Yes. And Joanna says, hey, Lisa, hey, baby, how are you? Yes, Jacqueline, definitely. So it's going to be for sale. So, so this idea is I really want you to be in the intensive for January because it really goes with this idea of preparing you for 2018. See, we have to start believing we're going to be here more than just for tomorrow, literally some of us. We're going to be here in 2017. We're going to be here in 2018. If we These courses that we're taking... It's like going to school. I have to go to school for a food certification course. You going to school for six weeks to learn about how to be able to build this frequency where you're just getting whatever you want. Do y'all know, y'all watch me, it took me years to master and not yet mastered. But I'm watching things going on. I'm sitting here in my own mind going, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. It's like, what? Uh, Ron Hill, how are you? Judah, how are you? Nichelle, how you doing, baby? I'm so glad to see you, darling. So, it's, it's, you're watching all of this go on yourself, and I know you want to know how. So, October intensive, December, how to sell, but, but January, whoa, that's going to be the accelerated version of how to get what I want right now, okay? Heaven Lee, how are you? Angela, I will be there. I know you will, and I'm so excited. So what I want to know is I want you, Shalom, Shalom, Sister Judah, Shalom, Brother Judah, Heaven Lee, Makeda Wisdom is coming on. Thank you. Makeda, I didn't get a chance to. I was on um, a teaching a course with my group, Wild Woman Who Roamed the Womb. So I know you left me a, a messenger message, and I'll, I'll look at that. I know it's about the link, so that's great. Greetings, love. How are you? So this is what I want us to talk about tonight. Since we know 2017 is coming, and the chances of you being here is probably good, and you want to create a life for yourself in the future, and so we can, we can more or less agree that 2018 is the future, because 2017 miles will say it's already here. What can you do in 2017 to prepare you for 2018, 2019, 2020? Why am I talking about this? We cannot fully, truly talk about legacy if you don't think that you're going to have something or be here in order to have something to leave to anyone else. If we don't prepare for the future, it will come upon us and we will not be ready. So the, the January intensive Blackberry Beauty Secrets, thank you for the heart, the loves, and the thumbs up. Blackberry Beauty Secrets, how to glow from head to toe is going to teach you how to be take care of number one. Remember, 2017, numerology equals one. 
Who is number one? People say, I'm looking out for number one. I'm taking care of number one. We, back in the day, we used to probably think, that's so selfish. That's terrible. But if you're looking out for number one in the number one year, that's actually right on. Some of these things we say is right on. Now, if you're looking for number one, out for number one in 2018 when it's number two year, you're probably going to knock yourself, your head's going to be buttoned against the wall. You know what I'm saying? So Del Deloitte, how are you? My Isha Collins, hi, Ashaki. How are you, Ashaki Ali? It's so nice to see you. Uh, who else we got? CM Marie, how are you, queen? My life path is one. So girl, you, January, you ready for 2017. Seven, you got the one life path. My life path actually is 11, and some say it's two. So I'm going to work the one and one. <laughs> I'm going to break down the one and one. I want to improve. So when I tell you I teach classes to help you improve, to help you persevere, self-preservation, when I, when I say that, I too am actually improving. My thing for 2017 is polishing up my act. Tamika, how are you? Mine too. Yes, Ashiki. Oh, okay, so you're are you a number one life path, Ashiki? That's that's cool. Or eleven, or you're eleven like me. Maybe that's what you're responding to. That's even cooler, nah. <laughs> you know, Leo, Leo. But um, so I really want you to sit right now, not later. You might not come up with the whole thing, but. I want you to think about what your theme is for 2017. People try to make others feel guilty when they want to do things for self. And sometimes it's work. Sad. You, girl, brother James, you said it. And that is so, so true. And let's talk about that a little bit. G. Lisa, how do you know your life path? So your life path number is based on the day you were born, the month you were born, and the year you were born. And you add all of those numbers up. And your year, you got to say 1967, 1967. So I was born 8, 7, so 8 plus 7, 1967. 8 plus 7 plus 1 plus 9 plus 6 plus 7 equals a number, and then you reduce it down to 1. So if the number was, let's say, 12, then you would add the 1 and the 2, and that makes 3. That's your life path. And there's, there's cases. Now, I'm not the numerologist like my sister, Aisha is the numerologist queen. You need to go to her website at numerologycafe.com. This is my blood sister, Aisha, but I know enough to know that. And then there's certain numbers that you don't reduce, some say, and that's 11 and 22, and I'm an 11, so I don't reduce it. But I could, and I would be a 2. If you reduce 22, then you would be a 4. So I hope that helps. Susan, how are you? G. Lee, okay, thanks. You got it. You're very welcome, sweetie. Great questions. So this is what I want you to do tonight. I want you right now to think about if, if, if January is about one. First of all, I want you to think about joining my intensive. Oh, and I, I'm going to announce it again. I'm having a Black Power Friday special. It's going to start this Friday and last till next Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Seven days. Everything on my website, except for the group Wild Women Who Run With The Womb, is going to be reduced. So for those, I'm, I'm giving you, I'm, hey, I'm giving you a chance. So for those that say 497, I ain't got it, I'm going to do something really lovely for you. And I'm going to reduce it for seven days. You have the opportunity to get the January intensive for less than 497. When you go on the website on Friday, you will see it. And I bet you'll be trying to get that. But you got to pay it in full. Another thing is the intensive, the, the how to create healthy rituals. If you want $77, it ain't going to be $77 for seven days. You got a chance to get it at a reduced price. And even my upcoming intensive, the $97 ones, spiritual, uh, spiritual art of selling, the art of spiritual selling, sell or be sold, is not going to be $97 for one week. It all goes back afterwards. Everything, my one-on-one -on -one consultations. That's going to be some might be able to afford now. So I'm just letting you know, Black Power Friday. Not Black Friday, Black Power Friday, okay? Can you have more than one thing? Yes, Jacqueline, you sure can. Let me talk about that. Hold that thought, Jacqueline. I'm going to get back to that. 
My life path is eight. That's about the money, girl. Eight is a nice life path. So start preparing in your one. Maisha says, yes, that's great. I'm glad you're happy about this. The, the Black Power Friday special. Everything, everything on the website except for the, the woman who wrote the womb. Mine is seven. Seven, very spiritual. A lot of lessons. A lot of lessons. And what sevens have to be careful of is not isolating themselves. Spiritual people tend to research and stay within and have a hard time socializing with the general public. And that's something we still have to learn how to do. But sevens is definitely research, spirituality, meditation. Don't isolate yourself, queen. Nubia, you are amazing. You're always giving life in one form or another. Thank you, Deloitte. A girl, and I've been doing talking all day. Being on, girl, I had so much to do today, but I, um, the fire is burning. I know that's right, that says Ashiki. Oh, my God, says G. Lisa. Maisha says nine. Nine, again, is completion. So nines have to be careful because nines tend to, um, there's always a project, meaning you're always completing something. I say, number nine, come up for some air every once in a while, okay, and do something that's for you but that you're able to give to others. Nine should know this. It's not a waste of time to want to learn and want to complete because those things that you learn, you will be able to teach to other people. Number nines are going to become great teachers. You're studying without knowing you're studying. You're just doing the stuff. You're reading the metaphysical books. You're watching these live streams because this interests you. This is better than going out to a club. This is better to you, number nines. It's better to you to read a spiritual book or a metaphysical book or learn about your history and your culture than to go shake your booty at a club. There's nothing wrong with the sh booty shakers. That's it. Hey, there's a place for booty shaking. But for a nine, and let me just say, it's going to pay off number nine. It's going to pay off. Every number, every life path number is valuable. There's not one better than the other. But remember, no matter what life path you are, don't forget to deal with what life path that we're in, meaning the year. If we're in the number nine, which we are now, completion, but we're going into the number one, even number nines have to deal with, now they have to deal with improving themselves so that they can be ready to work with others, okay? So I hope that helped a lot. How do you get your number again? So you get your number again by adding the day you were born, uh, the, the day you were born. So let's say the month you were born. I was born in the eighth month. The day I was born, I was born on the seventh day. The year is 1967. Eight plus seven plus one plus nine plus six plus seven. If it comes to a double digit number, you add that. Let's say it came to 12, you add one and two, your life path number is three. So except for two numbers, some don't double. It's 11 and 22. They call them master numbers, but there's another name for it as well. I can't remember, but that's pretty much in a nutshell, and I hope that really helped you. So you asked me, which was a great question, can you have more than one thing? You know what? I'll say no. <laughs> I'm not going to allow it. No, girl, you can do whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you want to do, but I'm going to say no. I think that this is what we do. I talked about this in my group, Why Women Around the Womb. I think we have too many goals because we really don't, we, either we think if I have a lot and I make one of them, then I feel good about myself. But when we concentrate on too many goals, that means the really big goal, the one that scares us to ish, the one that we really want, we won't put enough focus in that. So we're never actually getting what we really want. We're getting what we think we can get. We're thinking what we think we could obtain. We're not taking it to that full level. And in my, in my intensive Black Bear of Beauty Secrets, I'm going to teach you how to do it. It says do six, and Gigi, Gigi says she's six too. You know what? Number six are all about beauty. Y'all have the beautiful homes. Number six is the house you want to come in and stay forever. You like the way things look. That turns you on. Flowers in your home, aromatherapy, pretty color pillows. You are the home that nobody, they want, everybody want to come and nobody want to leave. Be careful with number six. People get so comfortable with you, they don't want to leave. And sometimes that could be a problem. That's number six. Okay. People tell me that I should teach. Oh, James, I know you should teach. You told me about preservation. <laughs> that was that was that changed the whole perspective of tonight. And I hope that you do that, brother. Maisha, oh my God, that's my struggle right now. Great. Mine is four. Makeda is three. <laughs> this turned into something else. The nurturer. Uh, three and Pisces. Ooh, Pisces. Spiritual. You know, Pisces is kind of like Pisces. 
are like natural sevens in a way. They're so deeply spiritual that they're so deeply sensitive, you know? So, you know, and I, yo, I could go on and on, and uh, maybe I'll teach a class in it, but um, yeah, what I, no matter what number you are, and I, I'll start naming some stuff. I'll start keeping it. I know fives, if you're a number five, it's about change. Woo, and fives have a hard time being still. Fives are the one that goes, I know what goal I want. A five would ask me, can they have more than one goal? A five is so important in your life, but I'll tell you, it can get you in trouble. So you're a six. Six, remember, you're about the beautiful home. People want to be around you, but you can't get rid of them, so be careful. Pisces as well, very sensitive. I'm a one in Aries. Aries is, oh, oh one and an Aries. Oh, God. Ones are always about themselves, right? And then they are Aries, and Aries can definitely be like, I, I, I don't need a, a, a relationship. I'm going to do it my way. I'm, ooh, Aries, but Aries are the babies of the Zodiac, too, so they want their way, but Aries still, they're go-getters, they get things done, they see a target, they have strong minds, and they get what they want, I really appreciate that, I see 555 five, five all the time, 4, hi, what about 3, okay, 3, I gotta think about 3, I can't remember 3 right now, that's why I didn't say it, so I'll think about it, um, all right, y'all. Yup, yup, I know, I started something, didn't I? <laughs> okay, let me give you the number. January 6, 2017. Join the Blackberry Beauty Secrets, How to Glow from Head to Toe. I will teach you about your number, and I will make sure that you understand what you need to be doing to have the wonderful life you have. But, uh, Lenora, how are you? I know, oh my God, then, I'm a Libra, a Sen oh, an Aquarius 7, yeah. Aquarius, Deloitte, you're an Aquarius, so your ear sign, oh, and a seven, so you're, you, oh, wow, that's a beautiful, that's, that, that's good, so you're an Aquarius who thinks out the box, who's always up there, because ain't nobody can touch you, because you, you way out there, you far out, girl, and then you're a seven, so you kind of are inner, too, so you, you talk to yourself, like, you your best own company. So you out there and you spiritual. So your thoughts, can't nobody get to you. And girl, Dolores, I know you. You a sharp sister. I remember that. You are, yeah, you're very much. And you're right there. Let me say this. Rather than cancer, it's very sensitive. I love cancer. Thank you, Miss Lisa Marie Goodson. I appreciate that. Let me say this about uh, signs. It's more important to understand your signs so you understand what you were meant to do in this time. So all of them are really good. So I look at the attributes, even the stuff that, but I also look at the things you need to work on. All of them are good because it tells you, it gives you a clue about what works best for you, what partner, what places to live, what even what, even what kind of courses to take. Lo, yes, you did. Great live video. Congrats, sis. My sister is Aquarius. Yep, she is out there. Oh, all those air signs. I love Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Yeah, I love them. They make me think a little bit deeper and a little bit higher. So, got that right. I know Leo. G oh, well, Gigi, you know I'm a Leo, too. So, Gigi, if you ain't in front, if you not preaching, speaking, you know, pro prophesizing, then you ain't doing the right thing. People want to hear you. They want to know what you got to say. So, Leo's just got to be careful with not burning themselves out. Very true, sis. We are naturally inclined based on all the aspects of self. I'll tell you something about this idea of burning out. If you are doing what you're supposed to be doing, there's no way you can get burnt out. But I see people get burnt out. Let me tell you about, can I, let me talk about that for a second. That burnout, no matter what sign you are, anybody can burn out. So, Denise Devine, thank you, my queen, is watching. I'll tell you something about this idea of burning out. I notice when you're on your purpose, when you're doing exactly what you love to do, you don't burn out. But what about those healers that are burnt out? What about those people? We see them. They was good. They was doing right. Or they gained a lot of weight. Or they lost a lot of weight. Or they got sick. Or they're angry. They're sad. They start yelling at their audience. They jacked up. They don't have no love no more. They disenfranchised. They, 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 they discouraged. They just jacked up, right? Makeda, oh, yes. The likes of Denise is watching. Yes. James, I thought I was a nine. Well, you you going to complete a lot of projects. What I want you to do, James, is start is, is look forward to the ones because you need new beginnings. You need to start new things and, and be about yourself, but also come out. And so 
what I think, uh, y'all, I lost my thought. Um, I'm a, a eight in the Taurus. Okay, so hold on, eight number Taurus. Ooh, eight and Taurus go together because Taurus is about their money. They want to know when they got to get paid. They're not the one that's going to quit their job before they know what else they're going to do. They're going to have another one before they quit that job, believe that. Because their money is very important. How am I going to take care of myself? How am I going to see my, my future? You know, do I need to invest? Tauruses are wonderful. Eights are wonderful. Only thing with eight is you can't, all of the signs, that's what I was talking about. You don't want to be so focused on money that you see nothing else. Because sometimes Tauruses think they know exactly the way it's supposed to go. And life just doesn't do that, you know. And I was thinking, so one way not to burn out is you have to start taking care of yourself. That's why the 2017 is so important with this number one. If you're not spiritually going back in, if you're not spiritually feeding your soul, it don't matter how many people you can heal, don't matter how many people are loving you, don't matter how many people you can give advice to, eventually, if you don't re-up, if you don't reignite, if you don't go back in, if you ain't taking them seats so bad, I mean, what I'm going to teach you in the January intensive, and I'm not even playing with you, is how to create a lifestyle, not a gimmick, not a trick, not even a strategy or a system, a lifestyle. It has to be the food, the water, the, the bathing, the thoughts, the how to set a goal, how to achieve a goal. It's got to be, and we got to use this time. I mean... True, I'm a Taurus moon too. Oh yeah, 11. I was born on the last day of Aquarius. Okay. When y'all look at me, y'all got to say, how she, y'all don't even know all the, I done did a live stream. I done had a meeting with the marketing. I done talked to an assistant. I, I don't went to the dentist, got my teeth clean. I done had to go. <laughs> I can't even tell. I, oh, I did two videos like crazy, like good stuff. Thank you for the hearts, the love. I appreciate that. What keeps me going is because I took a sea salt bath today. It's because I got up at 5 in the morning and did my yoga. It's because I lifted my weights. It's because I ran my 2 to 3 miles. It's because I did my lunges and squats. Do y'all hear me? It's because I drank. This is my last of the gallon of water that I'm drinking a day. It's because I ate these delicious fruits and apples and vegetables. It's because I shared time with my loved one and my husband. It's because I realized that I'll be teaching, speaking, big time speaking at Brown University in 2018. That's why I'm telling you, what is your theme for 2017? What do you need to work on? Mine is polishing up my act. What is spirulina? Okay, I'll teach you that in the next intensive in January. You're right. I put others before me a little too much. Yeah, I'm sure. Maisha, I need your energy. <laughs> well, come to the intensive. I'm going to give it to you. Angela, and you love what you do. I love you. Can you tell? I know I'm a Leo. Look at Barack Obama, whether you like him or not, God dang it, he was, he, it's the Leo dream. What is the biggest stage a Leo could be on is the President of the United States. If you hear me, let me know. Leos do that well. But at the same time, you know, I find as a Leo, the art of self-care, I could never, all this energy you see, I could not do it if I was not doing what I teach you in the next intensive in January. That's why I'm so on it. Truly, she is on the line. Hey, Truly, how are you? Thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. But, and I want you to be able to do this. You know, I always, you know, I'm going to go back to them ancestors because you know how I roll. Hey, Julie, you know I'm going to go back to the ancestors. Can you imagine the fire that Frederick Douglass must have had? Can you imagine the fire that was burning in Harriet Tubman? Can you imagine the fire that was burning in Marcus Garvey and Sojourner Truth and Fannie Lou Hamer? Can you imagine the fire? You know what? They already knew what was coming. Dr. Martin Luther King, they already knew. I keep saying, he said, I seen. You're going to get to the promised land. I ain't going to get there with you. He told you. He said, I'm not going to get there because I already saw he is fine too, girl. Yes, he is the best looking president we ever had. Yeah, that's a beautiful man, Barack. I agree with you on that. Yes, go back. You're an amazing teacher. Thank you. What is the course of intensive? Can I ask? Yes, G. I'm glad you asked. So, G, if you pay in full, the course of the intensive, actually, the course of the intensive is $597. That's with an installment plan. Wait, I mean, it's going to get better. If you pay in full, 
this as a bonus is four ninety seven. But if you buy it between this Friday coming and next Friday, which is Black Power Friday, I call it, for seven days, I'm going to reduce it dramatically. Can I say that? And the only way you're going to know what I'm going to reduce it to is you've got to go on the website on Friday and you will see the price and I think it will be more affordable. And I'm reducing the $4.97 price, the, 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 the cheaper price. Because that's got to be paid in full. I'm reducing that for seven days. Can I? So we can leave a little ear mystery. You're going to like it and it's going to be affordable. Okay, ladies? So thank you for asking. That was a great question. Do you teach how to contact your ancestors? Oh, yes. Thank you. You know what, Sam? That's so important. I, girl, thank you for ancestors speaking to you. I talk about ancestors so much. Yes, I do. I truly believe that the strength, the power, the energy that I have comes from my direct connection with the ancestors. Truly believe, and it's not against your Christian belief or your Muslim belief, I promise you that. I teach ancient African wisdom for the modern system. I take those things and say, what is, and let me just go this, what is ancient African wisdom? It really is, let's just go back to, if we're African American, I'm gonna go back to Caribbean, cause you know, I'm both, so African Americans. Your mama sitting on, your grandmother sitting on the porch, you know, telling you to go get that herb so that she could give it to you because you got constipation is ancient African wisdom. Your grandmother sitting on, sitting in the, or, or, or with her machete, you know, chopping down the branches and the trees and explaining to you about the noni fruit and what it, how it heals you is ancient African healing. Your ancestor that's coming from, in my case, the Cameroon, who is teaching you about word, sound, and power, and watch the words you say, not to cross yourself. In African-American culture, my mother used to say, you don't say, you don't point to yourself and say, you know, she looked like an a, 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 a elephant. You don't, when you point to yourself and say that, that's called crossing yourself. That idea that ancient African healing that came through the African American culture is in my in my house when we combed our hair, we took out the hair and we had to burn the extra hair. You know the, the shed hair, we burnt it in the fire. I still do that to the day, and I don't even really remember why. You, we had this idea that you didn't use another person's comb. We can trace all that back to ancient African history. The idea that you didn't let everybody touch your hair. My mother used to talk about the evil eye and how people gave that to you. Ancient African history that has moved throughout the diaspora. I teach that. You are definitely a shining star queen. Thank you. You hit me with a bolt of energy. Give thanks. Thank you, Brother James. I appreciate it. How long is the intensive going to be? It's going to be six weeks, uh, Sister Gigi. And it's going to be live. It's going to be private. And it's going to be, it's going to be live for real. Uh, Jacqueline, yes, I am waiting for Black Power Friday. Great. That's wonderful. So when I say ancient African healing, people go, well, you've never been to Africa. How do you know about ancient African healing? And I got one of my students, Makeda Wisdom, is a, a, a sister born African from the Cameroon. We are from the same people. And she has a YouTube channel, Makeda. Put your YouTube channel. And she talking about ancient African healing. And she's born and raised in Africa. Well, I don't know raised, but she was lived there, born there. She has information. But I can tell you, she will attest, Nubia is an African. She knows the African. She sees the African because what, what I'm trying to tell you is just because you was your people from Mississippi and um, Louisiana don't mean they ain't lose some African ways. The way black folks do church is so African. And I wish that we knew that. So you better preach, sis. Thank you, Delois. Oh, my God, yes, I hate hands in my hair. Yes, Makeda says yes. So you can get it from me. You can get it from my student, Makeda Wisdom. And that's her YouTube channel. It's called Makeda Wisdom. So you have really like how the ancestors speak to you. So I really truly understand now that I already had Africa. When I went to the Caribbean and I spelt, because you know, my father's a Trinidadian, my mother's black American, people from North Carolina, but I'm a Cameroonian, I'm a Cameroonian. But um, I didn't know my father and grew up with my Caribbean side. I went to Trinidad a lot of times and the things that they did remind me of being down south. The same techniques, maybe they had another word or another, but the same way. And I said, oh my God, this is so African. You know, I'll give you a great example of ancient African wisdom for the modern sister or brother. When mm -hmm. I grew up in Brooklyn, 
when brothers used to hang out with each other, and you know they passing the bottle around, they 40, they beer, their liquor, they all used to be like, pour out some liquor and say, this is for the brothers, these are for the ones that are not here. They don't know that in ancient, in, in Nigeria and other parts of Africa, they call that pouring libations for those that are not here. Same exact thing. Same exact thing. That's what I, but I'm making it modern. I'm showing you so you already have it within you. I saw my mother do that with our hair. Oh, yeah, I burn, burn my, take it off that comb, burn it. Makeda says, I recognize you, sis. The answers to speak through you. Thank you, Queen Makeda. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's already there. And I'm so, and when I say ancient African healing or wisdom, somebody asked me, what is ancient African techniques? What are you teaching that's ancient African in your techniques? And I'm going to talk about that. Libations, yeah, yes, libations, yes, Lenora, yes, Makeda, yes, Lenora, libations. You know you grew up with the brothers that used to pour out the liquor. Watch Cooley High, the movie Cooley High. They do it in Cooley High, which I totally love. Who is this? Who is this, James? Who is, who is who, baby? Tell me who, when you say who is this. So um, another thing that um, ancient African techniques, do you understand that water rituals, that taking sea salt baths is an ancient African wisdom? When I went to Trinidad, they called it, they didn't say let's go to the beach as we would say in the States. They didn't even say let's go to the ocean. They call a day at the beach, they said let's go take a sea bath. A sea bath. When we talk about ancient African healing, when we talk about using clay on our face, all the Black Bear Beauty secrets, and explain it to you, breaking it down, how I use it, why I use it, where I use it. We're talking about using clay. Look at some of those pictures that you will see photographs of our people from Africa in some of these magazines or photo journals. They have some, they using the red dirt of the earth, which you can find red dirt in many parts of the south, southern part of America. And they are paying, they're, they're doing it to, to be close to spirit, to, to, to protect themselves from certain spirits for many reasons. That's the clay that we use today. It is a protection. It is to give us something we don't have. So when we, when we it is so, it's so ancient African healing, it's saying the reason why we're so out of bounds, the reason why we have fibroid tumors, endometriosis, the reason why we have yeast infections and uterine cancers, the reason why we're having weight issues, the reason why we're depressed and sad is because we've lost those ancient African healing and wisdom techniques. We lost them. And I'm teaching you in Black Bear Beauty Secret how to say, and it's so imperative that you find it because it will bring you back to wholeness again. So is burning candles with intent part of African culture? Absolutely. And Lisa, how are you, Lisa? Yes. Now, it's interesting. This is the point that at the end of the intensive, what I want to get you to, I don't actually burn candles as much. I mean, I love candles. I realize that when you realize at the end that you are the altar, that you are the candle, that you are the one that you're giving reverence to. That the body, that you are the altar. We Some of us take better care of our altars or better care of our Bibles. We have like a space for our Bible. I've seen people do it, lay the Bible up there, you know. Then we do our, our own body. You are the gift. You are the altar. You are the one to give reverence to. And we're not doing that. And then we wonder why we don't have energy, wonder why we're burnt out, why we're doing things we don't love, because we've lost sight of the ancient African healing and wisdom techniques that I'll be teaching in the next intensive. And that's how you get the glow. And that's, you know what, y'all? Like, how am I, like, talking and all these things coming and then you're asking me questions and I'm doing that? That's the energy of the African, the energy of, of spirituality. Yes, Makeda says, this little light of mind. Yes, this little... Girl, wait, I, I'm going to stay with that one. The one that has a YouTube on ancient African healing. Yes, Makeda, that's her. Say that. Denise, thank you. Yes, Angela says yes. Latoya says you are the altar. Wow, never thought of that. Exactly. This little light of mine, I want to let it shine. We knew that. We knew we were the light. We Negro spirituals, they had double meanings, just like songs in Africa, Double meanings, how Africans use animals to tell a story. There is something much deeper there. 
It's just, this is what I teach. This is what I know. Chills, I'm at, I am the altar. Yes, in Georgia, dirt is real red. That's right, that Georgia dirt, that red dirt. I'm getting chills. Every time you say something, James, well, no, I'm getting chills. And so every time you all say something, I mean, do you feel the spirit? I'm the altar. Yes, Jacqueline says, preach girl. Yes, that's what I teach. But you know what's the difference of me in, 20, in 2009 when I first started YouTube and me in 2016 going on 2017? What is the difference? I'm not afraid of that power. I'm no longer afraid to be a powerful African woman, not disrespecting any other culture. I love and admire other cultures, but I have a rich culture. And I, I'm never going to deny it again. In Cameroon, soil is red too. Absolutely, James. She's letting you know. My mom always talked about that Georgia dirt where she was born. They got some red dirt in North Carolina as well. Georgia's powerful though. I like my candles. I love candles too. No, candles are wonderful. So, Lenore, I know you're laughing. Ashiki says love. I know you're laughing. I know you're joking. The candles are beautiful. Candles are, they represent air. They represent the fire element. In some levels, they even represent earth. So they're, they're really a holistic way. And I also teach the ancient African healing techniques in my next intensive. You through the premise of air, fire, water, earth, and ether, which is spirit. Do you use Facebook Live to teach the intensives? Absolutely. Eventually, I'm going to have my own uh, membership group for even the intensives. That's going to be off Facebook, but we make it private. This is not private, but we can make it private or secret when only we are dealing with it. Y'all think I'm going in now. I got worksheets. I have a curriculum. There is a course. There is homework required. There's tools that you have to get, but I promise you they will all be easy to get. They'll be in nature. They'll be around the house. It's not going to cost you a fortune after you pay. But when you leave, you're not going to be afraid anymore. You're not going to be afraid to set goals. I'm going to teach you how to do. Everything I teach in my small intensive is going to be magnified in the big one. Gotcha. Good, James. So, yeah, so I want you this at the end of the, the year, since we're going into the end of the year, I want you to start thinking about what your theme is for 2017, which is the, back to one, the beginning. Mine is polishing up my act. I want you to give it thought. And then once we start the intensive, which don't forget, this Friday, Black Power Friday to next Friday, is going to be significantly reduced. So if you can get the money up, this is a good time to do it. As a matter of fact, one-on-one -on -one consultations, the audio recordings, every single thing except for the woman who run with the womb will be reduced. So, all right, y'all. My man going to need some time. <laughs> I got one of those too. My man needs some time. So I'm going to go chill out with him and we're going to do something nice. I don't know what it is. Just being together. He, You know what? Let me just say, don't forget y'all on top of everything else, we are moving in two weeks. We're not moving from one city to the next, one neighborhood to the next. We're moving from one state to the next. No, 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 no. We're moving from one coast to the next. Do you know how much stuff we got to do? And he's doing it all. He got the, the, the moving truck. We're not driving. We're flying. So my, the moving truck's going to come and take the stuff. Then we got to get the car transported to North Carolina. We got to move out of this big place. It's a lot to do. But meanwhile, he allowed me to do my thing. Hey, and I'm allowing him to do his. And it's a wonderful thing. You know, for those that are looking for that beautiful partner, that want that partner where you can work harmoniously, I, that is part of my intensive. What, what do I want for you when you finish the January intensive? I want you to feel like there is nothing I can't do, I can't have, or I can't be. That's what I want. So what is your thing for 2017? And let's keep talking. So you know I will be tuning in tomorrow. You're welcome, CM. What city in North Carolina? I'm going to be in the Durham, Raleigh, Durham uh, area. Let's say that. Because the land is in another city, but it's the Raleigh Dorm area. So if you see me in Dorm at Vegan Flavor, you need to come or Raleigh, you better stop me. Be like, are you Sister Lisa Marie Nubia I Sutton? <laughs> Good sir? I'm going to say, give me a hug, girl, and let's take a picture. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, are you moving to, oh uh, yes, I'm moving to your state. Yes. Makeda says, thank you. So Makeda, tomorrow night, I'll announce Makeda Wisdom, who has those beautiful cards. 
uh, those natural hair beautiful cards. She's going to have a special reduce, a special price if you put in my name, Lisa, and I'm going to announce it tomorrow because I want to give her her props and I want to bring out her cards again and show it. And you can go purchase those beautiful cards and you'll get a special discount if you mention my name, L-I-S-A. But don't, you, if you do it tonight, that's fine, but I don't know all the details. But I'll have the details and the cards again because remember, in December, you are amazing. Continue to make those power moves. Thank you, sis. Vegan flavor. Ah, that's right, Angela. Mine is going to be self-preservation. Thank you. James came up with his theme. James said his theme is self-preservation, and that's perfect for number one. Mine is polishing up my act. Tomorrow, my challenge to you all is that you will have one. You will have a thing, and we will take it from there. Remember that December, I'm promoting y'all and your businesses. So, um, and I'll promote here and there. You know what, y'all? It ain't nothing if I get it by myself. It ain't nothing if I have it. The more you give, the more you receive. And I'm seeing that more and more. Support me so I can support you even more. And let me see my last comment. Mine is going to be, yes, thank you for tonight. You're very, very welcome. I look forward to doing this. No matter everything I do in the day, I go, I got to talk to my folks. And I'm so glad that I got to do it. So, yes, my good news is I'll be the 2018 speaker at Brown University in Rhode Island. And uh, more stuff to come. I got some other goals I'll share with you. Love you all with all my heart. This is Lisa Marie Goodson. Thank you. You're welcome, Angela, of the Blackberry Beauty Transformative Academy, ancient African wisdom and healing for the modern sister. Peace and blessings.